Today's video is brought to you by Fabulous. Start building better habits today with Fabulous and its science-backed daily routines. More about them in a bit. Life is a dangerous proposition. From the moment we enter the world, it tries to take us out. Or so it seems. Germs and pathogens attack us from all sides. We are directed to eat sensibly, exercise, and avoid killers such as stress and unhealthy foods, all in an attempt to preserve our mortal existence for as long as we possibly can. Yet we persistently place ourselves in harm's way, often without being aware of the dangers surrounding us. When we are conscious of danger, we normally guard ourselves against it by exercising additional caution. Such a reaction is sensible. But all too often, we are in considerable danger without being aware of it. Some of the most common activities of existence are the most dangerous we encounter on a daily basis. The routine nature of such activities makes us insensitive to the harm to which we expose ourselves. Here are 10 of the most dangerous things that most of us do on a nearly daily basis. Nearly all of them can be minimized with some extra awareness and attention. Number 10. Bathing or showering. Most people are aware of the dangers posed by electrical devices in the bathroom. Safety devices to prevent electrocution by hair dryers, fans, and other electrical conveniences largely reduce those dangers. Yet, the bathroom remains one of the most dangerous rooms in the home. Slips and falls pose the greatest danger. Unsecured bath mats and throw rugs present the potential for serious injuries due to falls, as do slippery, wet surfaces. The bathroom can also be a source for toxic mold introduced into the atmosphere from unseen nooks and crannies. Just stepping into and out of the bathtub, whether it has been used for a bath or shower, is a major source of injury in the bathroom. Other potential sources for injury include cuts from razors or scissors, burns from curling irons, and head injuries from contact with open cabinet doors or other sharp corners. All too often, we enter the bathroom during our groggiest condition of the day, leading to stubbed and broken toes as we grope around in the semi-dark. About 80% of in-home falls occur in the bathroom. The potential of striking one's head on an unyielding object renders the potentially severe. Number 9. Cooking Our Meals Having survived one's morning and going to the kitchen for breakfast, one is not free from danger. Over 65% of home fires begin in the kitchen. More than 300,000 Americans suffer injuries every year from kitchen knives. Cluttered counters, unnecessary throw rugs, and pets underfoot all contribute to kitchen injuries every day, but the chief direct cause of kitchen injuries is inattention to what one is doing. Distractions from spouses, children, television, radio, and the telephone lead to unattended foods bursting into flame, knives slipping, and emergency room visits replacing the day's plans. Of course, many kitchen injuries are attributed to less than intelligent use of tools, such as using a sharp knife to break the seal on a particularly stubborn jar lid, or submerging sharp knives in soapy suds where they lurk unseen, awaiting an incautious hand thrust into the sink. But the major causes of kitchen injuries are inattention and clutter. Turning on a stove burner and leaving butter to melt in a pan while returning momentarily to a task in another room is unwise. It's also dangerous, as statistics clearly show. Number 8. Using Stairs some people choose to take the stairs rather than an elevator or escalator whenever possible. They see it as beneficial to their health, and for the most part, they're correct. Yet, stairs are a major cause of accidents for a variety of reasons. One, of course, is slippery surfaces, which cause the loss of grip and an often severe fall. Carpeted staircases with worn surfaces also present the possibility of snagged heels and other source of falls, which lead to leg, back, head, and other injuries. Dim lighting adds to the dangers, as do items left on the stairs by others. The danger of tripping, slipping, or otherwise losing one's balance and suffering a debilitating fall on a staircase can easily be minimized by simply using the handrail. Presuming, of course, the handrail is in the proper state of maintenance. Stairway accidents are the second leading cause of accidental deaths in the United States, with over a million injuries annually. Roughly 12,000 of those injuries prove fatal. Number 7. Talking Too Much In today's polarized society in which virtually everything is disputed, talking can be dangerous. Words overheard by those who disagree can easily lead to confrontation dispute, or worse. Of course, one is free to express one's opinion, however, a little discretion when in public should be considered. Yet social disagreements are not the only danger posed by talking too much, whether socially, at work, or even at home. Experts say that talking too much can lead to dry vocal cords, which may lead to more dangerous conditions, including inflammation, polyps, and even precancerous conditions. They recommend listening rather than attempting to dominate the conversation while keeping one's vocal cords dampened. Water is the preferred liquid to 
consume when delivering lengthy remarks. Alcohol and caffeinated drinks merely aggravate the dryness. Number 6. Texting We've all been told that texting while driving is dangerous to ourselves and to our fellow drivers with whom we share the road, as well as the pedestrians walking alongside. It's so dangerous that 48 states, the District of Columbia, and the American territories of Guam, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico have all made the practice illegal. Yet all of us see drivers continuing to drive while their eyes are cast down to their phone rather than on the road ahead. Texting is the number one cause of distracted driving, but it is far from the only one. Texting is also dangerous while walking, whether on city streets, suburban pathways, or even during a leisurely stroll in the woods. It's particularly dangerous while crossing streets, though. Between 2005 and 2010, the number of emergency room visits because of injuries incurred while texting while walking doubled, according to a study by The Ohio State University. Walking into unseen obstacles such as mailboxes or lampposts, opening doors, stepping into traffic, or simply colliding with other pedestrians are all hazards exacerbated by inattention to one's surroundings. While many Americans consider such accidents to be merely embarrassing, serious injuries occur with increasing frequency, as studies show. Now, another thing that's awfully dangerous in our day-to-day -day lives is all that wasted time you might have. And if you're trying to build better habits for your job, for your hobby, for your health, then you need to consider trying Fabulous. Yes, this video is sponsored by Fabulous, the number one self-care and development app that helps you build better habits and achieve your goals. Fabulous uses proven tenets of behavioral science to help you build healthy habits one task at a time. So how does it work? Well, let's say you're working from home these days, you might well be, and you're struggling to fit in exercise and healthy eating into your new routine. Or maybe you're a writer who's having trouble finding time throughout the day to put pen to paper. Look, everybody's got something they're trying to work on, right? Fabulous is going to help you create new habits that stick by giving you a friendly, intuitive day planner. That's what I've got open in front of me right now. And that's going to help you keep a lasting routine. It's like having both a task manager and a coach right in the palm of your hands. So create yourself a little schedule with a task list and Fabulous keep you honest. Before you know it, Fabulous has gotten you into a good routine and you're well on your way to your own personal goals. So look, it's time to start building your ideal daily routine and right now is a special deal for you guys. The first 100 people who click the link in the description below will get a free week-long trial plus 25% off a Fabulous premium subscription. So get on over there and try it out and let's get back to the video. Number 5. Distracted Driving While texting while driving is a major cause of distracted driving, it's far from the only one and all are dangerous in the extreme. For example, all drivers have spied from time to time a fellow motorist engrossed in the intricacies of a mighty air drum solo, hands thrashing the air within the vehicle with considerable aplomb to the thrills of an unseen audience. Other distractions include rummaging behind the driver's seat for something temporarily lost in the back seat. Pets unsecured in the vehicle often distract our fellow motorists. America are quick to ascribe such behavior as these to others slow to admit it themselves. Using rearview mirrors to apply or adjust makeup is another frequently viewed sight on the highway. Finding another radio station or other music source is common, as is reading, programming a GPS device, reviewing videos on tablets or phones, ordering dinner, or being distracted by other drivers involved in these other activities. By the way, placing one's feet on the dashboard while riding in the front passenger seat is another frequently seen posture, particularly in the warmer months. Don't do that, there are eye bags in there. You can have a bad time. Number four, spending too much time before a device screen. It's fairly well known that too much time before a screen daily causes various issues ranging from relatively minor discomforts to serious eye problems. Dry eyes, red eyes, and tearing are all common afflictions from too much time staring at screens, and though they can lead to more serious issues, they are unlikely to be fatal. Others include stiff necks, cramping in the hands and arms, sore backs, and other posture-related issues. More serious issues are also attributed to excessive screen time defined by experts as four hours or more per day. Among them, are serious cardiovascular events, including heart attacks and strokes. The causes of these dangers are multifold. One is that excessive screen time reduces the amount of time devoted to healthy exercise and increases the amount of time one is engaged in sedentary activity. That same sedentary activity increases stress, whether from work-related events or from reactions to games or other entertainment that's present on the screen. Another danger presented by excessive screen time is a reduction in quality sleep. Medical professionals have long linked poor quality sleep to serious health problems such as hypertension, diabetes, and poor diets, which lead to obesity. Number 3. Arguing 
It's difficult to delineate the border between healthy debate and arguing. Debate can ease the resolution of issues, identify potential solutions, and explore their applications. Arguing frequently merely increases differences, adds to tensions, anxiety, and stress. It can also, through poorly chosen words and phrases, make a bad situation worse, leading to deteriorating relationships, increased hostility, and insecurities. Arguing with anyone causes increases in stress, tension, and frustration. But it is particularly dangerous when it occurs between spouses, couples, or partners. Number two, eating or drinking non-intoxicating beverages while driving. There are few, though they still exist, who would deny that drinking intoxicating beverages before and while driving is a particularly dangerous proposition. Nonetheless, driving while under the influence of intoxicating beverages remains a problem, as some believe it couldn't happen to me. At the same time, driving while drinking non-intoxicated beverages is also a dangerous proposition, as is eating while driving. Ubiquitous drive through windows allow drivers to return to the road intent on converting their vehicle into a diner on wheels, regardless of the meal to be consumed. As with other means of driving distracted, it presents dangers of which most are unaware. That is, until scalding hot coffee spills onto the driver's lap, causing both pain and a reaction which diverts attention from the road to a more immediate emergency. Spills caused by deconstructing bacon mushroom double cheeseburgers force the driver to focus on protecting the wardrobe to the detriment of vehicle control. Cold beverages erupt from their perch in the cup holder to slosh around the vehicle, requiring an immediate cleanup regardless of what speed the vehicle is traveling down the road. Eating and drinking in a vehicle is dangerous, yet, as with most of the dangers presented here, it's encountered nearly every day. And as with most of the dangers here, it is most often the other guy doing it. Number 1. Driving whether drunk or sober, distracted or focused, the single most dangerous event faced by most people daily is driving or riding in an automobile. Besides the hazards of the road amplified by fellow motorists less dedicated to the task than oneself, driving presents a multitude of dangers. Driving accidents cause more death among Americans between the ages of 1 and 34 than any other cause. According to the Institute for Transportation Engineers, an estimated 120 people die on American roads every day from automobile-related accidents. Few such accidents are unavoidable. Should the same number die in aviation-related accidents, the public outrage would be vocal and widespread, yet Americans largely shrug off the carnage. Compliance with speed laws, other traffic laws, laws restricting distracted driving, and better driver's education would no doubt reduce the number of fatalities. In the midst of such slaughter, most Americans, 64%, consider themselves better drivers than the majority of their peers. It would seem such confidence is misplaced. Take a look at the drivers around you next time you're on the road to see if you agree, but don't allow yourself to become distracted. Even if you are the most focused driver on the road, you're likely in the most danger you will encounter for the rest of your day. Good luck. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.